Hello everybody, welcome to Equals and Alternatives episode 18. I'm your host, Mike Vacanti, and today we are reviewing the Pro Bar Meal Bar, is what it's called. The Simply Real Bar. It's kind of a nice little jingle. Um, just a quick update on my photo shoot tomorrow. Yesterday was the least productive day of the last 18 months of my life probably. I didn't have any caffeine and I now realize that I'm fully addicted to coffee. Um, but I like fell asleep for two hours in the afternoon. I just didn't get anything done. The photo shoot got kicked back to Thursday and I basically said F it because I'm not going to give away another day, let alone two more days like that to get an additional 1% leanness in like the ridges of my abs. It's just not worth it to me. So I'm just going to go in there looking how I look like a regular dude. And, uh, if it's not good enough, whatever, because I can't sacrifice two days of output, but let's do this. This is, so I got this from Whole Foods. It was $3.69, either $3.69 or $3.99. Um, it looks super like, super like granola-y. Mm. It tastes really sweet. Like, like it has a coat of honey on it. Like I can feel it and I can taste it. Some nuts, oats, dates, some various things in there equal to three Reese's peanut butter cups, which we all know what they taste like, but just to spite the photo shoot, I'm just eating all this and drinking all the water. Man, those are good. Brings us to point number one, taste. I estimated 12% on the shit that matters, assuming that this would be way better. I would, I would set this at about eight or 9%. This actually beat my expectations on taste. The pro meal bar isn't bad, but understand that most people who are going to consume this, so you walk into Whole Foods, you're on your lunch break, maybe it's before work in the morning, you want a quick breakfast because breakfast is healthy. <laughs> and you see this on an end cap and it says meal bar and you think meal replacement and you look and it has 360 calories, shrug, okay, grab it, go, get a good meal in you. Versus... You're in your car, you're driving, you reach back, you have candy in the glove compartment, you have three of these to sustain you till lunch. Here, the non-macro counter feels like they made a really good decision. Like, they feel good about this. They might even have pizza for lunch because they say, shit, I had a good breakfast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy these two or three slices of pepperoni and then I'll have a good dinner. Whereas this guy's like, I really screwed up breakfast. I need to get it together. I'm like, we're going out to lunch. Okay, I'm gonna get a salad, grilled chicken. Yeah, dressing on the side. That's the fake health effect. That's where these two foods that have the exact same impact on weight gain and weight loss, 99.9% .9 same impact on weight gain, weight loss. One guy eats this and doesn't compensate, whereas someone eats this and does compensate, okay? So that's at play here, given it's a, a, a fake health food or a food that really at like 11% of total calories come from protein, it's just, uh, it's just not something I'm going to mess with. Is that right? I kind of did that on the fly. Close. 10. Um, fake health effect. Sugar is a factor here. Like, there are dates in here. There are almonds in here. There are oats in here. But the number one ingredient is tapioca syrup, which is sugar. Okay? So let's not mess around and say, like, this is perfect and this is evil. Now, of these 35 grams of carbs... 32 of them, most of them are sugar. So is that good? Do you want 96% of your daily carbohydrate intake to come from sugar? No, you don't. Um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm working on a comprehensive sugar blog post, so I'm not going to dive into minutes of how much sugar, what's good sugar, bad sugar, primer on sugar, any of that here. Yeah, it's really not bad. Our alternative, three pieces of string cheese are going to yield you a good amount of protein with some fat. And this is skimmed string cheese. You might be able to get it a little bit leaner, meaning the protein to fat ratio will be a little bit higher, but at eight grams of protein and six grams of fat per stick, I don't think you're going to do much better. And string cheese is, you know, it's good. It's got a little bit of calcium more protein per calorie. It's also convenient, something you can grab on the go. It's not a traditional breakfast food, 
but I would prefer you eating this than this. Unless you're counting your macros and this fits, then absolutely go for it. 369 to 399 range versus these come out to be about a dollar for three of them. This was from Whole Foods, whereas I got these in bulk for a bag of 14 on Fresh Direct that came out to grocery delivery service came out to five dollars for the bag. Um, so these are obviously much cheaper, which wins energy and macros. Like, like that is that trumps all. If you are in a surplus eating this fake health food over time, you're going to gain body fat, which is going to put you at risk for chronic disease. Whereas if you work this into your diet and are in a calorie deficit, keep your protein high, you're eating a good amount of high fiber vegetables, and you wanna have one or two or three of these a day even and work them into your macros, boom, awesome, do it. Or go for the alternative because that's gonna be even better. All right, question of the day. I need to start planning these. I feel like I've asked what's your favorite drink like three out of the last five questions of the day. Mm -hmm. Favorite sports team. I'm a diehard Minnesota Vikings fan. It's really the only sports team I root for. What's yours? Remember, your body's still counting macros, even if you're not.